So Norton has their SG grit, Norton SG, and then after that they came out with their TG grit. Now the TG grit is just like the SG grit, except it's long and skinny. So most grits are kind of shaped like a rock, kind of roundish shaped. TG grits are kind of shaped like spaghetti. Imagine a long skinny piece of spaghetti. And they have aspect ratios, let's say of like eight to one, where if he's this wide, he's eight times longer. Some are even bigger aspect ratios. And the idea behind the TG grit is, well, a couple things. Number one, if we get these guys long and skinny, they'll attack the workpiece more aggressively, number one. Number two, because they're SG, they're going to hopefully microfracture in little bits and pieces. And number three, because we got all these long little pieces of spaghetti, we can, they, they tend to bond together a little bit better, and we can produce wheels with higher porosity, especially in the creep feed mode. So here's a picture of a TG wheel. And this guy has lots and lots of TG grits. You can see those kind of wormy looking spaghetti guys. And you can also see the others. Now they're hard, kind of hard to tell that they're TG because they're probably just sticking up like this instead of lying flat. But those are TG too. TG works pretty well, especially on difficult to grind materials because of its long spaghetti structure.